So late last night, decided to make a quick trip. Last minute decision. I knew the tides were super, super low. I knew the fishing hadn't been that great right now, especially in the dead of summer. Against our best judgment, we ended up coming out. Loaded up the kayak, loaded up the rods, headed out here. Didn't really have a plan, just kind of winged it. Tried to put a pattern together. Started off a little slow, but uh, ended up getting on to some nice fish. So y'all stick around. Thank y'all for watching. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that was a good cast right there. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah. That dude is thrashing. A little bite right there. That's the first sign. Seemed like a small one, but let's just back up just a little bit. Just kind of work this area, see if we can get any more hits. Tides are super, super low, super low. I mean, they've already been low to begin with, but these are just crazy, crazy low tides. A lot of the places that I normally get into on low tide, I just, I can't get in. I'm already hitting bottom with the drive. I mean, it's just barely getting in there. Oh, this, this guy just went after it right here, right next to the kayak. <sighs> We're still trying to find them, still trying to find them. Like I mentioned, those tides are super, super, super low. Super low. I mean, I haven't seen them this low and I don't even remember seeing them this low ever. So I'm just trying to find something, trying to find a little pattern, something that's working. I mean, we're getting a few blow ups here and there, um, but they don't really seem like big trout. Yeah, I mean, there's not a shortage of mullet. I mean, there's mullet everywhere everywhere i mean everywhere i look there's mullet along the shorelines there's there's mullet in the deep ends really can't find out what the other ones are doing what the trout are doing what the redfish are doing I mean, it's probably best to change to something else but i mean i'm covering a lot of water with this top water redfish up there. Just saw him come out real quick. Yeah, he's just straight ahead, straight at my 12 o'clock. See if I can make a good cast. Oh, stupid bird. Damn it, bird. Oh, get away. Get away. Oh, no, he's going after my lures. Freaking spooked the redfish. Yeah, that redfish still behind him. Let's see if I can get a decent cast. it up for me. Let's see which way are you going guy? Now that redfish is straight ahead. Not sure which direction he's going. Nope. Oh there we go. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good cast right there. There we go. I thought that guy was gonna get spooked. I thought that bird was gonna spook him. There we go, come on. That's the one we needed. That's the one we needed. I didn't see him at first, but that guy showed his back. Came out the water. Tried to make a few casts, but that bird was going after it. Come on. No, 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 no. You can't go under, dude. Oh, that's a solid one. That's a solid one. Oh, 
yes <laughs> oh yeah that's an upper slot right there all day all day yeah, we had to work for that guy Nice, look at that lure. Absolutely inhaled it. There we go. Right. Let's see what this guy is. Oh yeah. 25 and a half, 25 and a half. Solid fish right there. Yeah, this guy was just cruising the shoreline. I went right where those birds were. They're all just right here on the shoreline. This dude popped his back out, made a few casts. That bird was kind of <laughs> messing it up for you. He was trying to go up for the lure. Um, but no, I ended up getting on this guy. Took a little bit of effort, but let's get him back in the water. Thank you, sir. There he goes. You can see how skinny they are right now. Yeah, there's a redfish right there. Let's see if I can make a good cast. I gotta throw it way past him just so he don't get spooked. Okay, should be good. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. That dude is thrashing. Thank you. That dude showed himself. He came up too shallow. I thought it was a mullet initially. Come on. He went after it, missed it. I kind of paused it and he went after it again. Got him. Got him. Like I said, these guys are super, super skinny. Super skinny. I mean, I'm just in about six inches of water. Come on, guy. Don't think that one's as big as the other one, but it's still a slot. Yeah, he absolutely inhaled that lure. Absolutely inhaled it. Both of them did. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we needed. That's what we wanted. Yeah, look at this guy. Not as big, not as big. Look at that lure right in the corner of his mouth. Perfect, perfect. Let's get a measurement. And then uh, set this guy on its way. Twenty-four. Twenty-four and a quarter. Twenty-four and a quarter, nice, nice. All right, so what we're using, NBN, three inch paddle tail on the NBN jig head. It's what's been working. It's what's been working. There it goes. Yep, Just look how skinny that water is. And that's exactly how they're swimming when I pick them off. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> 